Welcome to Bedtime Astronomy. Explore the wonders of the cosmos with our soothing Bedtime Astronomy podcast. Each episode offers a gentle journey through the stars, planets, and beyond, perfect for unwinding after a long day. Let's travel through the mysteries of the universe as you drift off into a peaceful slumber under the night sky. The Secrets of Planet Venus Welcome, space explorers, to a 12-part odyssey where we delve into the enigmatic world of Venus, Earth's scorching sister planet. Often shrouded in a thick atmosphere, Venus has captivated astronomers for centuries. But beneath the veil of clouds lies a world of extremes, a furnace unlike any other in our solar system. Join us as we peel back the layers and unveil the secrets of Venus. Part 1. A Twin Misunderstood Have you ever gazed skyward at the twinkling tapestry of stars and wondered about our celestial neighbors? Amongst the twinkling expanse lies Venus, Earth's closest planetary sibling. But unlike our watery blue home, Venus is shrouded in a thick veil of mystery. Often called Earth's twin due to their similar size, mass, and even density, Venus presents a paradox. Both planets formed around the same time, from the swirling disk of dust and gas that birthed our solar system. Yet, Somewhere along the evolutionary path, Venus took a dramatic turn, becoming a scorching inferno, while Earth blossomed into a life-sustaining oasis. This first part of our Venusian odyssey delves into the intriguing similarities and stark differences between these two terrestrial planets. We'll explore the leading theories behind this cosmic divergence. Did a runaway greenhouse effect trap Venus in a perpetual state of scorching heat? Or were there other factors at play, shaping Venus into the hostile world we see today? By examining the building blocks of both planets, we can see their fundamental similarities. They are both terrestrial planets meaning they share a rocky composition unlike the gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. They are similar in size and density, with Venus being only slightly smaller and denser than Earth. This suggests a shared origin in the early solar system, where both planets coalesced from the same primordial material. However, The key difference lies in their atmospheres. Earth's atmosphere is a relatively thin layer, composed primarily of nitrogen and oxygen, with trace amounts of other gases like argon and carbon dioxide. This atmosphere acts as a protective shield, filtering harmful solar radiation and allowing liquid water to exist on the surface a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. In contrast, Venus boasts the densest atmosphere of any terrestrial planet in our solar system. This oppressive shroud, a staggering 90% carbon dioxide, acts like a giant heat trap, blanketing the planet and intensifying the solar radiation it receives. The runaway greenhouse effect is the leading theory explaining this dramatic difference. It proposes that Venus's early atmosphere contained more carbon dioxide, which trapped heat more effectively than Earth's atmosphere. This warming triggered a chain reaction, releasing even more greenhouse gases trapped in rocks and volcanoes 
further intensifying the heat and pushing Venus into a state from which it could not recover. Another theory suggests that a lack of a global magnetic field on Venus might have played a role. Earth's magnetic field acts like a shield, deflecting charged particles from the sun that could strip away atmospheric particles. Venus, lacking a strong magnetic field, may have been more vulnerable to such atmospheric erosion leading to a thinner atmosphere and a less hospitable environment. Unraveling the story of Venus, a story etched in the scorching heat and swirling clouds of its atmosphere, helps us understand not only the dramatic transformation of this once potentially Earth-like world, but also the delicate balance that has allowed life to thrive on our own planet. Part 2. Unveiling the Venusian Atmosphere Imagine a world shrouded in a thick, suffocating blanket where the air itself is like hot, sulfuric acid. This isn't science fiction. It's the reality of Venus. Unlike Earth's thin atmosphere, Composed primarily of life-giving nitrogen and oxygen, Venus boasts the densest atmosphere of any terrestrial planet in our solar system. This oppressive shroud, a staggering 90% carbon dioxide, acts like a giant heat trap, blanketing the planet and intensifying the solar radiation it receives. In this part of our series, we'll delve into the composition of this Venusian atmosphere, exploring the science behind the runaway greenhouse effect. We'll discuss how the abundance of carbon dioxide traps heat radiated from the sun, gradually pushing the Venusian climate towards a point of no return. We'll also analyze the role of other atmospheric components like sulfuric acid clouds, that further contribute to the scorching temperatures on the Venusian surface. By understanding the Venusian atmosphere, we gain a crucial perspective on the forces that transformed this once potentially habitable world into a hellish landscape. The culprit behind the Venusian inferno is undoubtedly carbon dioxide. This heat-trapping gas, while present in trace amounts in Earth's atmosphere, reigns supreme on Venus. When sunlight hits Venus, the surface absorbs some of this energy and radiates it back out as heat. However, the abundant carbon dioxide in the atmosphere acts like a one-way valve allowing sunlight to pass through but efficiently trapping the outgoing heat. This trapped heat causes the Venusian atmosphere to continuously rise in temperature, a phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. On Earth, the greenhouse effect plays a vital role in regulating our planet's temperature, keeping it warm enough for liquid water to exist. However, on Venus, the runaway greenhouse effect spins out of control. The immense amount of carbon dioxide traps an overwhelming amount of heat, pushing the Venusian surface temperature pushing to a scorching 462 degrees Celsius, 863 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. This is significantly hotter than Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, highlighting the dramatic consequences of the runaway greenhouse effect on Venus. However, carbon dioxide isn't the only player in this Venusian drama. The atmosphere also harbors a surprising abundance of sulfuric acid, forming thick, 
yellowish clouds that perpetually shroud the planet. These clouds, while reflecting some incoming sunlight back into space, also contribute to the greenhouse effect. They act like a giant insulating blanket, trapping heat radiating from the hot surface below. The source of this sulfuric acid remains a topic of scientific debate. One theory suggests that volcanoes on the Venusian surface continuously spew sulfur dioxide gas, which reacts with water vapor in the upper atmosphere to form sulfuric acid. Another theory proposes that sunlight might play a role, breaking down sulfur compounds already present in the atmosphere to produce sulfuric acid. These sulfuric acid clouds not only contribute to the scorching temperatures but also create a hostile environment for any potential life forms. The clouds rain down sulfuric acid droplets making the Venusian surface a highly acidic and corrosive landscape. By studying the composition and behavior of the Venusian atmosphere, we gain valuable insights into the factors that shape this planet's dramatic evolution. Understanding the runaway greenhouse effect and the role of various atmospheric components allows us to appreciate the delicate balance that sustains a habitable environment like Earth's and the potential consequences of a disrupted atmospheric balance. Part 3. A Landscape Forged in Fire Imagine a world sculpted by relentless volcanic activity, bathed in perpetual twilight, and shrouded in an oppressive atmosphere. This isn't the fiery underworld of mythology. It's the reality of Venus's surface. While Earth boasts diverse landscapes from towering mountains to vast oceans, Venus presents a stark contrast. A scorching furnace dominated by volcanic plains and sculpted by the relentless heat. In this part of our series, we'll explore the Venusian landscape, a testament to the immense heat and geological activity that have shaped this unforgiving world. We'll delve into the evidence for ongoing volcanic eruptions, vast lava flows, and the unique geological features that define the Venusian terrain. By studying the surface, we can piece together the story of Venus's geological history and gain insights into the processes that continue to shape this alien world. Our knowledge of the Venusian surface comes primarily from radar technology as the thick atmosphere makes optical observations impossible. Radar waves can penetrate the Venusian clouds, revealing a landscape of vast plains, towering volcanoes, and evidence of ancient lava flows. One of the most striking features of the Venusian surface is the abundance of shield volcanoes some dwarfing even the largest volcanoes on Earth. These massive, gently sloping volcanoes form when highly fluid lava erupts and spreads out over vast areas. The evidence suggests that volcanic activity has played a crucial role in shaping the Venusian surface. The immense heat within the planet's interior fuels volcanic eruptions, spewing lava and volcanic ash onto the surface. Some scientists even believe that Venus might be experiencing a period of ongoing volcanic activity, with eruptions continuously reshaping the landscape. Another intriguing feature of the Venusian surface is the presence of tesserae vast regions of highly deformed and fractured terrain. 
These tesserae are thought to be ancient continents, similar to Earth's continental plates, that have been warped and deformed by the immense heat and pressure within the planet. The Venusian landscape paints a picture of a world dominated by geological processes driven by the immense heat trapped by the runaway greenhouse effect. Studying this alien terrain allows us to compare and contrast the geological evolution of Venus and Earth, offering insights into the forces that shape planetary surfaces. Part 4. A Glimpse Beneath the Clouds Venus's Thick Atmosphere A swirling veil of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid acts like a stubborn barrier, obscuring the surface from our direct view. But beneath this veil lies a world waiting to be unveiled. Thankfully, technology offers us a peek behind the curtain. In this part of our series, we'll explore the methods used to peer beneath the Venusian clouds and the secrets these glimpses have revealed. Radar technology plays a starring role in our exploration of the Venusian surface. By bouncing radio waves off the planet and analyzing the reflected signals, scientists can create detailed maps of the Venusian terrain. These maps reveal a world far more complex than initially imagined, with vast plains, towering volcanoes, and even hints of past geological features. One of the most surprising discoveries made through radar observations is the evidence for ancient oceans on Venus. While the scorching surface temperatures make liquid water impossible today, radar data suggests vast, low-lying plains that could have once held massive bodies of water. These ancient oceans may have existed billions of years ago when Venus's climate was potentially more temperate. However, the runaway greenhouse effect likely led to the evaporation of these oceans, leaving behind a parched and desolate landscape. Another intriguing feature revealed by radar is the presence of canyons and mountain ranges. These vast canyons, some dwarfing the Grand Canyon on Earth, hint at a period of intense tectonic activity in Venus's past. The mountain ranges, towering giants sculpted by volcanic and tectonic forces, offer clues about the internal structure of the planet and the forces that have shaped its surface. While radar offers a detailed map of the Venusian surface, it doesn't reveal the composition of the rocks and minerals that make it up. Here, spectroscopy comes into play. By analyzing the way sunlight interacts with the Venusian atmosphere, scientists can identify the presence of specific molecules on the surface. These analyses have revealed the presence of basaltic rocks, similar to those found on Earth's ocean floor, suggesting a volcanic origin for much of the Venusian surface. The glimpses we've gained beneath the Venusian veil paint a picture of a dynamic and complex world. Evidence for ancient oceans, vast volcanic plains, and towering mountains hint at a rich geological history. While the surface is now a scorching wasteland, these glimpses offer tantalizing clues about Venus's potential past and the forces that transformed it into the world we see today. Part 5. The Venusian Inquisition. Early Exploration. The human fascination with Venus dates back centuries. 
as one of the brightest objects in the night sky. It has captured the imagination of astronomers and dreamers alike. But our quest to understand Venus wasn't always confined to the realm of stargazing. In this part of our series, we'll delve into the early missions to Venus, the pioneers that braved the challenges of exploring this hostile world. The first attempts to explore Venus were flyby missions, unmanned spacecraft designed to skim past the planet and gather data. The Mariner probes, launched by NASA in the 1960s, were the first to provide us with close-up views of the Venusian atmosphere. These missions revealed the immense pressure and scorching temperatures at the Venusian surface, making it clear that landing a spacecraft would be a daunting task. The quest to land on Venus continued with the Venera program launched by the Soviet Union. These landers were specifically designed to withstand the crushing pressure and scorching heat of the Venusian surface. The first successful landing of Venera 3 in 1966 marked a historic moment, making it the first spacecraft to land on another planet. However, the harsh Venusian environment proved too much for Venera 3 which only transmitted data for a mere 23 minutes. Despite the challenges, subsequent Venera missions continued to push the boundaries of exploration. Venera 8 and 9 managed to transmit the first images from the Venusian surface, revealing a barren and rocky landscape. Venera 13 and 14 even managed to take soil samples and analyze the Venusian atmosphere, providing valuable insights into the composition of the planet. While the early missions to Venus faced immense technological hurdles and often succumbed to the harsh Venusian environment, they provided invaluable data that shaped our understanding of this scorching world. These missions paved the way for future exploration and continue to inspire our quest to unravel the mysteries of Venus. Part 6. The Soviet Legacy. Unveiling the Surface. The Soviet Union played a pivotal role in the early exploration of Venus, particularly with their groundbreaking Venera program. In this part of our series, we'll delve deeper into the Venera landers, the technological marvels that successfully touched down on the Venusian surface and transmitted the first images and data from this alien world. The Venera landers were engineering marvels designed to withstand the crushing pressure, reaching a staggering 90 atmospheres and scorching temperatures exceeding 460 degrees Celsius, 860 degrees Fahrenheit, on the Venusian surface. These landers were encased in thick, heat-resistant shells and equipped with specialized instruments to analyze the atmosphere and take pictures of the alien landscape. The first successful landing of Venera 3 in 1966, though short-lived, marked a historic moment. It proved the feasibility of landing on another planet, paving the way for even more ambitious missions. Venera 4, launched in 1967, successfully descended into the Venusian atmosphere transmitting data on pressure and temperature until it succumbed to the harsh environment. The quest for a glimpse of the Venusian surface continued with Venera 7 and 8, launched in 1970 and 1972, respectively. These landers managed to survive for a brief period on the surface 
transmitting the first ever grainy images of the Venusian landscape. Though the pictures were low resolution due to the harsh conditions, they revealed a rocky terrain, hinting at the geological processes shaping the planet. Venera 9 and 10, launched in 1975, marked a significant leap forward. These landers not only survived the descent, but also managed to capture the first panoramic images of the Venusian surface. The images showed a desolate, rocky landscape with evidence of past volcanic activity. The presence of large, rounded rocks suggested weathering processes, hinting at a potentially wetter past for Venus. The final act of the Venera program came with Venera 13 and 14, launched in 1981. These landers not only captured high-resolution images, but also conducted the first analyses of the Venusian soil. The analysis revealed a basaltic composition, similar to Earth's oceanic crust further strengthening the link between volcanic activity and the formation of the Venusian surface. The Soviet Venera program, despite facing immense technical challenges and losing several landers in the Venusian inferno, holds a significant place in space exploration history. These missions provided the first direct data and images from the surface of Venus, revolutionizing our understanding of this scorching world. The legacy of Venera continues to inspire international space agencies as we strive to further explore and unravel the mysteries of our enigmatic planetary neighbor. Part 7. The Modern Era Unveiling the Atmosphere Venus Express also provided valuable insights into the possible existence of lightning on Venus. While the harsh environment makes direct observation difficult, the mission detected radio waves at frequencies similar to terrestrial lightning. Further analysis is needed to confirm the presence of lightning, but this discovery suggests electrical activity within the Venusian clouds, a phenomenon not fully understood. Following the success of Venus Express, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, launched Akatsuki in 2010. This mission aimed to study the Venusian atmosphere and climate, focusing on understanding the factors that contribute to the planet's extreme temperatures. However, a malfunction prevented Akatsuki from entering orbit as planned. But in a remarkable comeback story, after spending five years orbiting the sun, Mission controllers managed to maneuver Akatsuki into a successful Venusian orbit in 2015. Akatsuki has been instrumental in studying the Venusian atmosphere, particularly the thermal structure and wind patterns at different altitudes. The mission has also provided valuable data on the composition of the atmosphere including the distribution of minor gases like water vapor and carbon monoxide. The data collected by Venus Express and Akatsuki, along with future missions, is helping us create a more comprehensive picture of the Venusian atmosphere. Studying its circulation patterns, composition, and potential electrical activity provides crucial insights into the factors that shaped Venus's climate and its dramatic divergence from Earth. Part 8. The Search for Volcanism 
volcanism is a fundamental force shaping the surface of Venus. Evidence from radar and lander data points towards a history dominated by volcanic eruptions, shaping vast plains and towering volcanoes. In this part of our series, we'll delve deeper into the search for evidence of ongoing volcanic activity on Venus. The scorching temperatures and crushing pressure on Venus make direct observation of volcanic activity challenging. However, scientists are using various methods to search for signs of a potentially active Venusian interior. One line of evidence comes from studying the Venusian atmosphere. Volcanic eruptions on Earth release sulfur dioxide gas. While the Venusian atmosphere contains a significant amount of sulfur dioxide, some scientists believe that the current levels might be too high to be solely explained by ancient volcanic activity. This suggests that ongoing eruptions might be contributing to the presence of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. Another approach involves analyzing the Venusian surface for signs of recent volcanic activity. Some lander data hints at the presence of minerals that form at high temperatures, potentially indicative of recent volcanic activity. Additionally, radar observations have revealed features resembling volcanic calderas, collapsed craters often associated with active volcanoes. Lightning, if confirmed on Venus, could also be linked to volcanic activity. On Earth, Lightning is often triggered by the collision of volcanic ash particles within eruption plumes. The detection of radio waves suggestive of lightning on Venus has sparked interest in the possibility of ongoing eruptions. While definitive proof of current volcanic activity on Venus remains elusive, the ongoing search continues. By analyzing atmospheric composition, surface features, and potential lightning activity, scientists hope to paint a clearer picture of the Venusian interior and the role of volcanoes in shaping this enigmatic world. Part 9. Habitability. A Lost Paradise? Gazing at the scorching surface of Venus today, it's hard to imagine it as anything other than a hostile inferno. But some scientists believe Venus may have held a different story in its past. In this part of our series, we'll explore the intriguing possibility of a bygone Venusian ocean and the potential for life in this seemingly uninhabitable world. Evidence suggests that Venus might have once possessed a vast ocean, similar to Earth's early oceans. Radar data reveals vast, low-lying plains that could have held massive bodies of water billions of years ago. The presence of water vapor in the Venusian atmosphere, though scarce today, also hints at a wetter past. This potential ocean on Venus is believed to have existed when the planet's climate was significantly cooler. The runaway greenhouse effect, however, likely led to a dramatic increase in temperature, causing the oceans to evaporate and leaving behind the parched and desolate landscape we see today. But the story doesn't end there. The possibility of life clinging on in some form on Venus, however unlikely, continues to intrigue scientists. One potential niche for life could be the Venusian clouds. While the surface conditions are hostile, 
The upper atmosphere, at specific altitudes, might offer pockets with temperatures and pressures more suitable for some extremophile life forms. Microorganisms adapted to withstand the harsh acidic environment could potentially exist in these cloud droplets. Another intriguing possibility is the search for biosignatures, chemical signatures in the atmosphere that could be indicative of biological processes. While no definitive biosignatures have been detected on Venus so far, the search continues with each new mission. The search for a past or present habitable environment on Venus goes beyond mere scientific curiosity. It allows us to understand the delicate balance needed for a planet to sustain life. By studying Venus, a world that may have once been similar to Earth, we gain insights into the factors that led to its dramatic transformation and the conditions necessary for a planet to nurture life as we know it. The question of whether Venus ever harbored life, or if it still does in some form, remains unanswered. However, the ongoing search for evidence pushes the boundaries of our understanding and fuels our desire to explore the potential for life beyond Earth. Part 10. Terraforming Venus. A science fiction dream or future reality? Science fiction has long captivated us with the idea of terraforming transforming a planet's environment to make it suitable for life. Venus, with its similarities to Earth in size and composition, has become a prime candidate for this thought experiment. But is terraforming Venus a realistic possibility, or is it best left to the realm of fiction? In this part of our series, We'll delve into the scientific challenges and potential methods for terraforming Venus. We'll explore the immense hurdles involved in transforming this scorching inferno into a habitable world. The primary challenge in terraforming Venus lies in reversing the runaway greenhouse effect. This would require removing a significant amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Several theoretical methods have been proposed, each with its own set of challenges. One approach involves using gigantic machines or genetically engineered organisms to capture and convert carbon dioxide into a stable form, potentially storing it underground. Another concept involves creating giant sunshades positioned strategically to block incoming sunlight and reduce the overall temperature. Geoengineering techniques like seeding the atmosphere with reflective particles could also be employed to reflect sunlight back into space, further lowering the temperature. However, these techniques would require immense resources and technological advancements far beyond our current capabilities. Even if the temperature hurdle is overcome, terraforming Venus would require addressing other challenges. The current highly acidic atmosphere would need to be neutralized, potentially through the introduction of chemicals that react with sulfuric acid to form more benign compounds. Additionally, creating a breathable atmosphere with sufficient oxygen would be crucial for life as we know it. The terraforming of Venus is a daunting proposition, requiring advancements in technology, resource management, in our understanding of planetary environments. While the current limitations make it seem like science fiction, 
the possibility holds a glimmer of hope for the future. As our technological capabilities evolve, what once seemed like an impossible dream might become a feasible endeavor. Part 11. The Future of Venusian Exploration Our exploration of Venus is far from over. The harsh environment continues to pose challenges, but new missions are planned to push the boundaries of our knowledge. In this part of our series, we'll set our sights on the future, exploring the exciting missions on the horizon designed to unravel the mysteries of Venus. Several space agencies around the world are planning missions to Venus in the coming years. NASA's proposed Da Vinci Plus, Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry, and Imaging, mission aims to descend into the thick Venusian atmosphere, analyzing its composition and searching for biosignatures. The Veritas Venus Emissivity, Radar, and Interior Structure, Mission, also by NASA, will utilize a powerful radar to map the Venusian surface in unprecedented detail, searching for evidence of past volcanic activity and geological features. The European Space Agency is planning the Envision mission, which will orbit Venus studying its atmosphere, surface features, and potential volcanic activity. This mission will build upon the success of Venus Express, providing a more comprehensive picture of the planet's current state. These upcoming missions highlight the international collaboration and scientific drive to understand Venus. By combining data from these missions with future endeavors, we hope to paint a more complete picture of Venus's past, present, and potential for future exploration. Part 12. The Venusian Enigma. A Planet of Paradox. Venus. Our enigmatic sister planet continues to hold many secrets. Shrouded in a thick atmosphere and bathed in scorching heat, it presents a stark contrast to the life-sustaining environment of Earth. Yet, beneath the veil lies a world with surprising similarities, a reminder of the potential paths planetary evolution can take. Throughout this series, we've explored the scorching surface, the swirling atmosphere, and the ongoing search for evidence of a habitable past. We've delved into the challenges of exploration and the potential for future endeavors. Venus remains a planet of paradox, a world both familiar and alien a reminder of the delicate balance that fosters life on our own planet. As we continue to explore Venus, we not only unravel the mysteries of this celestial neighbor but also gain valuable insights into the diversity of planetary environments within our solar system. The Venusian Enigma continues to inspire scientific curiosity pushing us to develop new technologies and venture further into the cosmos. The story of Venus is a reminder that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, the quest for knowledge and exploration remains an unwavering human pursuit. <laughs>